everybody, and welcome back to the Wandering Gamer Network Plays Bastion. I'm Cody. I'm Zach. I'm Mandy. And I'm Caitlin. Woo! And I am heading to the next level. We yeah, are, you is. We're going to go to Cinderbrick Fort. To, yeah. Too bad it lies deep inside the toughest fort in the city. The fort lies inside of the fort? No, the core does. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, like, so it's like, I, I so get, sassy. I get, I, get, I get it, I get it now. I don't remember this level. <laughs> oh, you might not have played it last time. Aw, uh, This shit. is almost where it stopped being yeah. good. Yeah, I don't think you played this level last time. Yeah, this game's pretty linear, but you do have some choices in when you do things, but it's kind of schmeh, whatever. Yeah, yeah chop, chop, chop. It's very, very linear. I, I would call it linear. Like, yeah, it basically is. Because here's the thing, if I don't, like, that other level's the next level I have to do. Right, yeah, it's just like, you're eventually gonna have to do it, so it's whatever. And then once you're in the level, it's basically linear. Oh boy. <laughs> Woo, you got wrecked. Yeah, that, that time I actually did get wrecked. Huh. Oof. They don't get a second chance like me, right? That's because the kid you is. You might want to drink some juice. Awesome. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah, this is what I mean about this game. Does kind of it ramps up eventually? It's not always yeah. friendly. I, I'm trying, like... I would just I would just move on. Honestly, it's like at some point it's not worth it. Got him. I feel like we should come up with a name for the kid. Like, what's our kid's name? Billy. Billy. The kid. Yeah, I get it. Billy the kid. <laughs> that was that was that was not my best joke, but no. it's what I got. I feel like it was better than your uh, like tree drum. Yeah. Okay. Look, you know, sometimes I make jokes and they're not all winners. You know, <laughs> but you gotta try. And then you learn what works and what don't. I kind of want to give him like a really. Uh, Fancy name that's not appropriate. I feel like his name would be like Lance. Oh, La La Lance seems very appropriate. I was thinking like Frederick. Uh, definitely not said, a Frederick. Said with that that accent too. Like. <laughs> you can't hardly tell from <laughs> Ooh, he's getting beat up. <laughs> what's the switch to? Maybe like Vic. You like Vic? I like Ooh, Vic. Vic. Ooh, what's that? This. Oh yeah! Oh, I like this game. I remember we did do this level. Oh last time. yeah, because you had the, you had this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The scrap musket's fun because you can do crazy stuff like that. Yeah, <laughs> I remember this now. Kill them all at once. See, my beef with the scrap musket is just that, like, I feel like it never did enough damage. You know what I mean? The unfortunate thing is I don't have a machete now. Oh, did you get rid of the machete? <laughs> oh, I don't no. have a choice. It, oh it, shoot, that sucks. Yeah, I like the machete better than the repeater. Yeah, for sure. Well, and it sucks when you have two ranged Ooh, weapons. Get it, get it, get it. Although it's good for the little popcorns. The little squirts. Little popcorns. Yeah, that's what they are. They're adorable little No, popcorns. I mean, they really are. It's just funny. Oh, get out of here. I was going to kill that thing. Like, I'm sure that's an elite enemy, the popcorn cart. I was going to kill it with the fang repeater. Oh, but I don't know if it is. I'm not really sure. It has health on the bottom. I think this is what... Distinguishes it. Oh, gotcha. Get out of here, squirts. <laughs> but they're so cute. Little squirts. I feel like that, like, uh, kill them with the fang repeater, like, the last shot is the hardest one. Yeah, that's a little bit, that's a little bit painful. Well, like, what you need is, like, just to get down to one shot, and then, yeah. like, have a machete to... The thing is, I like one health now, so if I can if I can do this run, two, three. So now if I do this, oh, I reload it. Dang it. So we are actually uh, changing oh. the topic here so we can all get involved with something a little different. Um, we are all taking a road trip in a week-ish uh, to go hang out at a cabin. Oh, I forgot we were going to talk about this. Which yeah. is going to be super fun, and I can't wait, but... Um, we are going to be driving together oh boy. and doing road ah. tripping. Oh, I don't have any health either. <laughs> oh, oh, no. no. <laughs> go, Zach. Oh, no. And, uh, we were talking about how, yeah, there you oh, go. There we, go. <laughs> uh, we, were, we were talking about, like, when we were kids, like, road tripping and having to, you know, deal with with that. So, oh, uh, you, get your, you get your machete back. Yeah. 
Yeah, I definitely think, like, when I was a kid and going on road trips, like, what I remember was... I remember my parents, like, kind of didn't want us to get a portable DVD get, player. Get that health tonic. Um, oh, thank you. Because oh. they were... <laughs> You know what, Mandy? You know what? They were like, you I should look out the window, you know, and, like, be more, like, focused on the vacation. Um, but then when we did, like, I think I finally bought one. Like, I, I saved up money or had a bought job or one. something. Bought what? A portable DVD player. Gotcha. And I remember going to Florida and watching, like, all of Lord of the Rings and stuff like that. And it was yeah. like, my parents were like, yeah, it was kind of nice that you guys weren't, like... Driving us nuts the whole trip, so I guess we're okay with it. <laughs> yeah, that is something. So uh, I, I grew up with, uh, there were four kids in my family, and we definitely had the, like, you can watch a movie, and then you can't watch anything for a while. You need to, like, look out the window. Uh, the way my mom put it is, you need to, like, not be staring at a screen. You should look elsewhere and, you know, yeah. I guess... Play a game. Yeah, like, or read a book, which, don't read a book in the car. But <laughs> did you get car sick? Oh, I did. I never oh, got car sick. Awful. I could read well, it Well, I could always read in the car. Only more recently. I could do it when I was younger, but, like, more recently, I just don't like riding in the back seat as much in general. But, um... But yeah, so that was a big thing with our family is we had the cool setup for when we did get to watch movies, but then mom and dad were like, no. So this is kind of a random question. What was everyone's like favorite road trip that you went on? You know what I mean? Ooh, that's a good question. So here's the thing. My family only road trip to Florida, really. <laughs> well, I guess that makes your answer really easy. <laughs> Yeah, but here's the thing. I would not consider it a favorite road trip by any means. <laughs> well, well, but, but here's, a, here's a question. Like, d now, obviously, there are some you remember and some you don't, but there is there one you remember that went, like, particularly well? Or? The ones that went over faster. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's fair. <laughs> like, I hate road tripping. Like, you guys are super excited. Like, we're going to road trip together. I'm like, I'm excited to go to the cabin with you guys, not to get there. Now, I'll say this. Like, I... I agree with you up to a point. Yeah. Like, driving can eventually be tedious, and I remember when I was, like, younger, I did not always like riding in the car. Um, but, like, the older I've gotten, the more I enjoy it, because, like, I kind of like the excuse to either, like, I get to listen to a podcast, or I get to listen to an audiobook, or, like, if I'm with people, then it's, like, it's fun to be stuck in a car for six hours, because you end You're up just talking hanging to the out. Yeah, yeah, you end up talking and chatting, and I like that. But I don't like you, Cody. <laughs> well, you know, that's awkward. Um, but yeah, I just, I like the conversations that have, it's like why I like getting breakfast with people, you know? It's like, it's a good excuse for good conversation. I don't mind as much riding with people, but after six hours, it just, with like no break at all, just feels a little forced to me. Well, and my other thing too, and I, I, and this I is a difference in how Cody and I like to road trip. Oh, are you, are you going to say, I think I know what you're going to talk about. Yeah. So I was going to say, my favorite road trip, which not to answer my own question, like, right away. Um, I remember there was a time that it was after um, my grandpa passed away, and um, me and, so, like, my family and my grandma, um, that was still alive at the time, we went on a road trip to Florida, and we took her with us so we could, you know, because, like, you know, she needed people to go on vacation with, and we're like, oh, hey, you know, like, she'll probably enjoy going on this trip with all of us. And it was just ended up being, like, a really good trip. Like, even though there was five of us in, like, a compact car, like, my grandma was tiny, so it was like she wasn't even there. <laughs> Me and my brother were both old enough that we could, like, not be super bored and miserable the whole time. Mm. And then... Like, my grandma was not about sitting in a car for seven hours and driving right. straight. Like, my parents were at that time. Like, uh -huh. now I think they're not as much, but they were, like, they were, like, young enough that they're like, yeah, whatever, we'll just, just make good time. You know, we just got to get there. And so, like, we stopped a lot, and we stopped at, like, a lot of cool places. So that trip was great because, like, because my grandma was with us, we had to stop all the time because <laughs> she didn't want to sit in the car for that long. So it was nice because we got to get out. And see a bunch of different places and all that stuff. So that was a good trip. I really enjoyed it. Is this that. the grandma that you grew up nearby? Yes, this okay. is the grandma that was across the street. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so this is the difference between how Cody and I road trip is I like to make really good time, especially when we're going, going like somewhere and I'm not as worried about getting home. But like if we're going to see family and I'm really excited, then I want to make the best time possible. And he's like, I got to stop again. And I'm like, no, we <laughs> um, need to keep going. 
My yeah, I just don't get the point of being miserable. Like, if I need to pee, I'm not going to be like, we got to keep going. I'm like, no, I need to pee, so we're going to stop. I don't care. Like, it's worth 15 minutes, so I'm not unhappy. I'm way happy. Like, it's as fast as I can get there as physically possible. And, like, here's the thing where it's like, I, like, with, I have, like, a blood condition where, like, my blood clots too much. So, like, I should be stopping, like, every oh. two to three hours. And I'm like, yeah. nope, we're going until we run out of gas. Hey, Zach, guess what's going to happen when you ride with us? Oh, no, we're not. Oh, yeah, we are. Here's the thing. I will give you a cup. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's not happening. I'm stopping. Man, I'm Do you gonna... know what's great about this? We're taking our car. You know what's great about this? I'm going to be driving. Are you? <laughs> I'm going to try to go for as long uh, as possible. I don't know, because mm. it's going to be later. It's going to be, is... well, no, it won't be nighttime. Never mind. I can at least start out. Yeah, <laughs> but um, so so I was thinking about it, and I think it, it's hard for me to pick like one specific road trip, because like so so there's two. My family liked to take road trips when we first got our learner's permits, um, <laughs> so that yeah, well, so, so you could like, get all those hours, you get in. all those hours in, you learn to drive in different areas, that kind of thing. Uh-huh. So like I do remember getting to drive, and and this is one of those things that's like. I have n- I've only been in situations like this when driving maybe one or two other times, but I was the one driving. I've never driven with something else behind the car, but I was driving with like a, uh, it was like, like an, a hitch. Yeah. It was like a hitched, um, camper thing. Okay. So like we were going to Yellowstone, um, and we were going to be living in the little trailer just, you know, it was like camping mm-hmm. each yeah, day. And yeah. it, it was really fun. Like it was a great road trip but it is funny when you're driving in a car it was an expedition Mm -hmm. so it's a huge car yeah the trailer is slightly bigger than that oh like wider yeah so slightly wider than that i went through pouring rain where i couldn't see Uh i went through like the car had trouble shifting into gear because of how yeah. steep things got. Yeah. We were driving through, you know, you drive through everything from like, oh, it's super nice to super deserty where it's like really windy. Uh-huh. Um, and my siblings claim that I almost hit a buffalo or not a buffalo, but like, oh, shoot, I can't think of it. But like there was a big animal crossing. Is it an elk? No, I don't think it was an elk. Was it a bear? Bison? I think it was a bison. Um, What's the difference between a buffalo and a bison? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I think those are the same thing. Maybe I don't know. It was it was big, and they claim I almost hit one, <laughs> but I think they're wrong. I just had to stop a little short because it was coming across the road. Um, but yeah, so I, I really I remember that one. I don't know if it's like a favorite, but it's very distinct. Like I really remember that. But then the other like just general road trip thing is, like, one of my favorite things was always waking up really early, and we would all get in the car, so we're talking, like, four or five o'clock in the morning, it's still- (laughs) I'm I'm sorry, no, I just, I just looked up the difference between buffalo and bison, you know what it is? What? Americans are stupid. What? (laughs) Americans saw bison and went, those look like buffalo, we're calling them buffalo! Oh. And they're, like, different species. Yeah, like, a buffalo is not- um, so, oh. early American settlers called so bison like an African buffalo. buffalo due to similar appearance between the two animals, and the name <laughs> buffalo stuck for the American variety, but it's wrong. The American bison lives only in North America, while the two main buffalo species reside in Africa and Asia. I, it's literally exactly what we did to the, the, the like American Indians, where we're just like, you look like you're from India, you're Indians, and I'm, they're like, no. I'm looking at the picture on Caitlin's phone, and I literally thought... What is a bison? I thought that was a buffalo. Right? Because that's what you think. Mm. That's like but the that's picture they Yeah, that's what you kill in Oregon Trail. So do you want to yeah. listen to what these guys have to say real quick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's oh, listen yeah. To this. Sorry. And then I'll, then I'll finish my road trip thought. Uh, Marshall's badge. Ask Zolf about the Marshall's badge retrieved from Cinder Brick Fort. Did the Marshalls ever give you a hard time being an aura and all? Oh, that's nice. You want to get the this one? Sure. Smoking pipe. Ask Zolf about his smoking pipe. Where did you get this? In the city, they used to say this stuff was very strong. Zolf brought his antique smoking pipe all the way from the terminals. We get it, you vape. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, you want to do this one, too? Oh, sure. 
Um, ask about the Marshal's badge retrieved from Cinebrick Fort. The Marshals brought the city back to working order after the war, didn't they? Even since the Ura surrendered to us, the Marshals kept a wary eye on him. Wow, that's kind of racist. So I, I think I think it's, we'll actually build the thing, and then this is where we'll stop. We can find the lost and found. The oh wait, I want to talk about my tore the trip. old world to pieces. <laughs> Yet even the smallest fragments can be restored in the bastion. I think this is the buy stuff. Yeah, it is. You can you can talk about your keep talking about your road trip. You're good. Yeah. Well, okay. So I'll finish up. But my other like really great road trip memory is just in general. Anytime we would wake up at like four or five o'clock in the morning, it's still dark outside. Mom and dad would like have us get our pillows and blankets and we'd all get in the car and we were supposed to fall back asleep. Like that was the idea, right? I almost never did that. I was always awake and just like with my dad driving in the front seat and I'm sitting there like in the back seat and just like watching the lights go as you're driving. Mm -hmm. That is just such a fun memory for me. And Mm -hmm. it's like, that's like every road trip we did. So it's like, oh, I love it. All right, so let's pick your last. Let's pick pick your uh, your your ale, and then we'll we'll call. I like it quits the one called Stabson. I, I bought Stabson <laughs> when I played this game. I remember Stabson. <laughs> I might actually let's take a break because I'm gonna go look through the shop a little bit more thing because none of you are flatting my fancy right now. I don't think. Okie doke. All right, everyone. Thank oh no, you no, for... I'm doing the fetching phase because that's what uh. I need. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you for watching this episode of the Wandering Gamer Network plays Bastion. Uh, until next time, keep wandering. Bye. Bye! Hey everyone, and thanks for watching this episode of the Wandering Gamer Network Plays Bastion. If you'd like to hear more content from the Wandering Gamer Network, check out the link to our website in the description below. We have several actual play podcasts for games like D&D 5th Edition, Star Wars Edge of the Empire, City of Mist, and several other systems. So if you're interested, check it out. Thanks again, and we'll see you I next time, wanderers. My hole, you build a wall. I dig my hole, you build a wall. One day that wall is gonna fall. Gonna build that city on a hill Gonna build that city on a hill Someday those tears are gonna spill So big the sky gonna build that wall up to the sky someday your bird is gonna fly gonna build that wall until it's done Gonna build that wall until it's done But now you've got nowhere to run